What have you seen or heard out of this defensive line group this summer? Uh, what I've seen is the guys are working hard. <clears throat> they look amazing. Uh, they're here. All, they, a lot of guys been here all summer, working on their craft, working with D Love, our strength and conditioning staff. Um, they've been taking care of their body from a mobility standpoint. Uh, spending time with Bima, uh, just just doing all the things that they need to do to, to play and execute and have a great season. XT is an older guy yep. coming off of an injury. Where is his mentality going into his last season at Clemson? Uh, he's, he's, he's great. I saw him at the ladies' clinic on Saturday. Uh, we sat together, big, huge smile on his face. His body looks amazing. Uh, just, I saw, uh, you know, his, he just looks lighter in terms of the focus, not worried about anything. And uh, that's, been, that's been really, really good. He's leading our, he's leading our group. He's taken on the leadership role. He's never had to do that before, and so he's embraced it, and uh, he's doing a good job. How do you assess his career here? It's been so long, there's been so many ups and downs. Right. Alec Calgas that have ever come here. He's dealt with a lot of first outs that have mentored him along. Well, you know, I think each each season has been different. It's been different, man. He come in a freshman year. He was dealing, with, you know, he had an outstanding year, and then. Uh, a lot of the pressure got on him, you know. He started not focusing on the things that he needed to focus on. He just got sideways a little bit. But you know, X is man. He's he's uh he, he's he's one of those guys. If you can keep him focused, and he's able to do that now, and you can keep him focused. Uh, I always felt, and I do feel, uh, the best of still yet to come at Xavier Thomas. And this year, in particular, he's in the leadership role. And the guys are watching. So X has to be here. He has to be here. If you're going to be a leader, you got to be available. And so he's been available, and I'm proud of that. Do you feel like there's still a first-round pick in there somewhere? I'm not sure. You know, I uh, that's not. I don't. You know, I'm not a draft expert. All I know is that if he does what he's supposed to do, and he's he's available on the football field, uh, he's going to help his chances in the NFL draft. When a guy like that, when any player can kind of lose focus. There's kind of that toss up of you need to see something from them that you keep investing in them. Right. You got a lot of guys here that require your attention. What was it about him? What did you see that told you he was still worth your effort, still worth your investment? Uh, I think <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, I think for him, I saw last year when he played those two games, right? And then he's like, Coach, I want to come back. So it's there, right? And then for me, this offseason, this summer, Xavier taking on that role as being a leader uh, just does so much for me as a coach. Now I know that I can trust him. I can count on him. He's going to be available. He's going to do the things that he's supposed to do. And then look at his body. He's, he's, he's a, he looks great, right? Uh, he's leading. He's here. He's working out. He's with the guys. He didn't go home uh, this summer. He stayed here. To me, that's a huge investment. Is he as healthy mentally and physically as he's yes. been probably the entire time yes. he's been here? Yes. How do you feel about your depth behind XT and basketball? How do you feel about the depth behind XT and basketball? I feel good. I feel good. So X, X and uh, Masco was hurt this spring. I said hurt. They didn't play much this spring. So I was able to uh, get the young guys a lot of reps. And, you know, K, TJ Parker, Zaire, Jaheen, uh, Armand Mason, all those guys got reps. And I was able to evaluate moving forward what, what, you know, what we can do at that position. So if, if, if you know, for whatever reason, if X and Master can't play, I feel very confident in the guys that are behind them. Then you got A.J. Hoffler and David Ojepo, who obviously wasn't here this spring. Um, they will get a lot of reps this fall and just to see you know, what they can do and how they can help us moving forward. Sorry. Absolutely. TJ Parker is a guy that will help us. Uh, very excited for him. And I saw a lot in that when he was here this spring and what he did. And so he can for sure help us. And he will help us. What's the identity of this line now? Because you lose such characters, you lose such personalities uh, in last year's group. What What's the, the personality? Have they found their personality? Oh, yeah. We're, they're going to be workers. All right, we, we're going. Do they know that, or oh, is yeah. that yours? Okay. No, they, they will know that. Uh, we're going to be locked in. Not a whole lot of distraction. 
we haven't played one down. And it's important for us to focus on the main thing. And that's how we can help our team get to the goals that we have in mind. That's number one. And this is, it's, you know, it's no, uh, I, I love the Avengers and all that stuff. Man, just lock in. All right, don't get caught up in all of that. Let's just be one team, one defense. And that's, that's our focus. That's it. How much does it help to have guys that have played at such a high level to teach the guys? It helps a lot. You need that in your room. Yeah, yeah. You need that in your room. You need the leadership. Uh, those guys know what it looks like. You know, I think about when I had Cleveland and, and, and uh, Austin Bryant, right? And you had KJ. Those guys were freshmen, right? So they took those young guys under their wings and taught them what it looked like. So it, they, they, they've had the example of what it is. And now we just got to put it together. You talk about them working hard in the summertime, you know, preparing their craft. How about you personally? What do you do uh, to well, get I, I, better in your craft yeah, as a coach and a yeah. coaching staff? I spend I spend a lot of time just talking to other coaches, uh, trying to figure out uh, better ways to communicate certain things. Or how how is this teaching progression? Uh, and you know, I think for me, that's that's one way I, I do a lot of professional development. Whether it's a Zoom call or I just go meet with someone, just talking football and how to get better. How do you balance allowing players to have input versus also you know, you're the coach and you know, this is the, the game plan? Well, at the end of the day, this, this game is about players making plays, right? And so guys, they may, they play the game. I'm on the side, right? I, I watch a lot of tape, but uh, I rely on players that has experience, that we've worked together for a while, and, and that I can trust those guys. So, for me, trust is, is huge. If I can trust you and you can do, you're doing the things that you're supposed to do, then I don't mind taking you know, those type of that information in from you. And how do they earn that 